Welcome back to the second half. Look at that fucking casualty box. Look at that bitch halfling sleeping on the job. Oh, it brings a tear to my eye. Uh, the halfling master chef steals one reroll, and that's okay. It was entirely a completely average. Uh, I, I see you speeding this up. Yep. Uh, look at this fucking post processing. I, like I think I'm, I'm like I'm like making shit nice because nobody wants to watch Is a it minute. Last processing. No. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> nobody wants to watch a minute and a half of halflings moving one square. Yeah, that's true. So, so this is like the nightmare scenario for your halflings. Uh, you have an injured tree and a huge man's disadvantage, and you're down a point. Like, yep. halflings aren't supposed to win, but this is just bad. You also only lost, lost uh, one uh, reroll, which puts you pretty much average. Uh, it's mm -hmm. four plus to steal a reroll, so you're expected to lose three over the game. So this is good. We're in a good spot. Yep. If we lose this, it'll be the most embarrassing game of Blood Bowl. Uh, and he's already down. No, it will be. At least of this LP. It will be the most embarrassing. Of this LP, sure. I could think of more embarrassing games of Blood yeah, Bowl. Yeah, well. Let's we not get into we, that. <laughs> yeah, let's not. I'm gonna Changing the subject, that look at that fucking cape on that number nine. Uh, oh, sorry man. about the sorry about the names and the numbers again. Like I I forget about the stuff so often when I'm playing these games, but it's fine. We know who we know who's on our team. We can tell the, our players apart. And luckily, his two remaining trees are uh, easy to differentiate, and it's completely irrelevant what halflings yep. have what. His good halflings out, and that's what matters. Yes, he does have two good halflings who have uh, sidestep, and they also have a skill called diving tackle, which I don't think we've ever talked about. It's the stunty skill, basically. You put it on every stunty if they hit mm -hmm. three, and then if they hit four, you fire them. So, diving tackle, uh, when a player tries to dodge out of your tackle zone, uh, you can attempt to dive after him and aim for his legs and try to take him out. And what you do is you roll, uh, or on that on that dodge roll, you uh, you make the opponent roll a minus, a minus two. So, basically... What would be like a two plus roll uh, for like an elf or an agility four player becomes a four plus roll, and your player uh, dives into the square that they were previously in and lays on the ground. It's as if they were diving after them as they're trying to get away, and it's very nice to have on a player. And if if the opponent forgets about it, and so your opponent just tries to uh, your opponent tries to dodge away from your like your little shitty halfling, no big deal, and you end up diving after him and, and ending ending that turn because you're you're sneaky little son of a bitch. I honestly think that the moment at which you see the use diving tackle prompt is the best. You're just like, do I want to end their turn? Yes. And then you slam that button like Caesar, giving the thumbs down. <laughs> you slam the button as hard as possible. So, of course, we're set up again. Uh, it appears that uh, this was Irotep, correct? Am I yes. remembering that right? Yes, yes you are remembering uh, correctly. It appears that his offense is throw teammates. So he, here we go. Uh, number two, Destroyer of Dreams, is, is lining up for the, the strong arm uh, halfling throw. Right over my guys, of course. The strongest of arms. Unfortunately, you cannot intercept... <laughs> he fails it. Unfortunately, you cannot intercept thrown teammates. That would be hilarious. That'd be really fun. I think you should... I think if you throw a teammate over another big guy, you should be able to intercept it like a bomb. Mm -hmm. And immediately throw it again. So of course, uh, this now puts the ball and uh, and Irotep's chances of even tying in terrifying position, because I have created a full wall on the left half of the field. Uh, well, not a full wall, but a, a a good enough wall that that he's not reasonably going to really get through here. It's okay. Stunties don't care about walls. Yep. Uh, so I immediately identify that I should be up on Haver in this situation, and I'm going to go get uh, Flesh Gordon. Ah, I'm going to get him a touchdown. I'm going to pick up that ball and go hand it off to him, and then and then and then move down the field. I, I call it fun having, but in reality, I just want to try to maximize SPP because these past couple games, like almost from game one, have just been, oh, it's been a real nightmare just trying to get players to level up. Flesh Golems are especially bad for it because the only thing they really do is punch stuff and mm -hmm. they don't have Mighty Blow. So anyone who's like played Orcs and tried to level Black Orcs, it's oh, yes. that. It sucks. Look at that friggin' flesh golem. He he'll, does not care. He'll save every one of us. That that he will. And in, in fact, I also I have uh, another bright idea as I'm making this handoff. Uh, is it is it flesh golem passing game? It's flesh golem passing game. He has five. He has five star player points. Don't do what you're about to do. That's ah, fine. 
I hate you. It's all for the fans. You always fucking do it, and it always ends in tears. Didn't you remember what (laughs) happened in the first half? I have a short attention span. I have a short memory. (laughs) So your your intention is clearly to pass to Wolf Blitzer. Look at this fucking double wall, though. Like, nobody's nobody's even getting close to Flesh Gordon. Dude, stunties. Ah. I just want to remind you. Did you forget the first half? I've neutralized the, the only stunty threat. The rest of You're them, can, they can do three incorrect. pluses all day. I hope he just pegs you in the face with a halfling and Flesh Gordon falls over. Oh, that isn't going to help. The way those two looked at each other when he took a root had me dying when I was watching <laughs> this game. Go back and watch just, it if you didn't see it. I know, he just looks over, he's like, what do I do, uh, man? He looks over uh, to, uh, to one of the two Cotter Peasons on the team. So yeah. in fact, by giving these, giving these halflings numbers instead of names... Uh, I'm making them more identifiable from each other, <laughs> if you think about it. I would also just like to note the really nice touch. Like, I don't I don't think I give Cyanide credit for much, because they really don't earn it. But the very small differences between players as they level up yep. is really cool. Also, fuck that guy. 5-4-4-4, stunty dodging every day. Like... All of the, all of the, like, all of the art assets in this game are really great. Yeah. I, I love That's those. the one thing that they do. Did you know that despite the fact that you will never, ever, ever take Leap on a tree? Oh, God. They most definitely have an animation for jumping that is the greatest thing ever. I want to see that. You can, actually, if you have a copy of Blood Bowl, you can go into the model viewer. Oh, yeah, that's right. tell it to uh, do the jump animation for a tree. It is hilarious. Those fuckers just launch themselves off the ground. It's amazing. I am pretty sure I've seen a tree touchdown animation in game. I don't yeah, remember well, how, that's, but that's I remember not terrible. That you can just get a touchback and hand it to him, and yeah. then never take root or reroll all the take roots. Look at Santos von Hammerstein. He does not care. Like I needed this guy on the ground, and so I brought I brought the one man capable enough to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. See, the the great thing is that you're now understanding that there are players that are just clutch as hell. Oh, I know. I've understood you know this how game this works. works. That's what happens when you start naming your players. They start to develop personalities, and in fact, the dice themselves bend to their very whims uh, if they're good or bad. So here that's, we are. That's how Blood Bowl works. Uh, we're setting up the fucking safest pass and catch I've ever seen in my life. Of course, Flesh Golem, uh, Flesh Gordon, ah, uh, being two agility. Uh, that's a four plus and then a three plus to catch. Uh, super fucking bunkered. I waste the reroll because oh. why not? And there we go. That's a flesh gordon. Look level. at that shitty pass. You're like, ugh. Fucking, he's just like, ugh. How do you fail that the first time? Ugh. It might as well be a handoff. Ugh. And so, uh, that's why it was such a shitty pass because he can't, he, his dad never taught him how to throw the old pigskin <laughs> around. <laughs> well, it's, it's okay. We'll give him a pass on this. That's, one. uh, that's flesh gordon's canon backstory. <laughs> Yes, we want to do the double Cholo lean. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, Cyanide knows what the fans want. I, I don't think... I love how you're, how you're gingerly walking around <laughs> the tree that has taken root. Just, excuse me, sir, I have places to be. Uh, <laughs> beef Slab, I don't think Beef Slab could handle two Cholo leans in, in, one, one, in one turn. <laughs> so the, uh, the unfortunate failed throw teammate, uh, the, that would be... Deep Root has fumbled. The, uh, deep Root fumbling that player who just lands there i can't tell did Whatever. he get knocked out i can't even, no, i can't see uh, behind that guy stunned. oh he's stunned i can sort of see the stars peeking through deep roots back yeah it's uh no it's nowhere near <laughs> as bad as oh you're reading the i'm dumb. watching the chat yep uh, i really did feel like the uh you know like the little kid who had cancer or something <laughs> and like the football team like hands him the ball he's like oh go run you're scoring a touchdown and, but <laughs> that's what flesh golem did that's yeah that's what that's how I felt Just like fle- I felt uh, flesh gore. Uh, I throw pass. I throw him throwing the pass I good coach. best quarterback on team. And the rest of the team is Much like flocked better around than him. White power. The rest of the, it's like the rest of the team is just mauling halflings down the way and they're like, Yeah, you're doing it, you're doing it all by yourself. <laughs> I just like to note that our two agility player now has a better pass completion rate than our pass player. Yeah, not even a better completion rate. I think he's tied for number of completions. Uh, and if, so, of course, uh, not discounting this fact that now Wolf Blitzer has a level, and that's good news. We are at three levels in this yep. game, not even having an MVP. This is and awesome. that is that is three levels on very critical positionals. Uh, yeah, it's all positionals. And Jesus Christ, those are the laziest halflings in the universe. Mm-hmm. So this is the time when. 
inevitably every uh every halfling game goes downhill. Yep. Uh he only has three turns, so And that's almost how many players he has. Yep. Uh no, we're gonna do plenty more work on that. He has seven players and uh, and I'm not done yet. <laughs> of course not. You have mighty blow. I am I'm feeling very cathartic right now. Uh Oh, We're so he's setting here, up for a weird TTM or he's something. Throwing up, he's setting up for a really gross TTM. Keep in mind, this is uh, awful. This tree man does have strong arms, so he can throw one space farther than he normally would. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we've said that, like, yeah, it's like how it interacts with TTM specifically. Mm -hmm. That strong arm gives an extra square of maximum pass range. Yep. It doesn't do it for regular passes, or else uh, no, it, it would just be OP as hell on everyone. It, no, I'm pretty sure it does. It increases your pass range by one. Like that's what it does. Uh... It is a strength skill, so it's hard for passers to get. But of course, like that is that is maximum scatters. So a, a thrown player scatters three times, and he scattered down three times, which is just wow. enough to get there with his full movement. But fucking look at this touchdown celebration! <laughs> I'm not even mad. <laughs> that is the best touchdown animation. That motherfucker touchdown! Just got, got it's thrown, fucking sandwich time. He got thrown six squares through the air, and the first thing he does when he lands is front flips and eats a sandwich. <laughs> I can't even be mad about that. No. Uh, and then the halfling, like, tips over when he kicks the ball. But look at this change of weather. Uh, the oh, weather man. changes to the blizzard, and we are now, uh, we're, it's a, that halfling one-turn touchdown was apparently a Christmas miracle, because it's summoned, it's summoned winter. <laughs> it's summoned winter. So, blizzard, it's a thing. Yeah, I set up in a very stupid way, uh, Basically, I left a, like a giant gap in the back right. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, Blizzard is uh, Blizzard it's is one of the, the ass. one of the very interesting skill effects. It's very very bad for uh, agility teams. It basically just well, for it it'll have like no effect on this match, but it means that when you pass, you know how TTMs have uh, only let you do the first two rings of passing. Well, now that's how it is for every passer. You can't throw more than a short pass. Mm -hmm. And additionally, when you GFI, it is now a 3+, plus instead of a 2+. plus. Yep. That doesn't mean that it's any worse an idea, because GFIs are always a bad idea. Ah, oh, fuck you, white power. Oh my god, white power is the worst. Oh my god, he oh, fucking completed a nailed pass. Nailed it. The crowd goes actually wild. It's because he was passing to Santos. Mm -hmm. I decide that I want to just pile on uh, the touchdowns, and I, I'm just like, fuck it, let's give it to Santos. Who cares? Santos, Santos hero. won't get knocked this. down. He is the only blocked player, so he won't get knocked down. Uh, he's he's indestructible. Mm -hmm. He's he's the indestructible. Goal. That's how it works. Yep. The, uh, let's, the, let's punch a bitch. The armor value 7, no regen. Uh, Blodge, but s s terrifyingly fragile Santos Van Amerstein makes a break to the end zone. Well, uh, also known as the only thing that ghouls are used for. Yeah, correct. That's why you have ghouls. They're actually pretty good. I do like ghouls. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. I just And they're great throwaway players. Like, a ghoul dies and you can't even be mad about it. You're just like, whatever, I'll wait a game and a half and I'll have another Blodge 7 movement player. For 90k, it's ridiculously good. It's actually kind of surprising how valuable Santos Van Hammerstein has been for me. Like, I normally I don't get this much fucking value out of ghouls. Ghouls are just sort of there. Like, I always, I've always been like, ghouls have always been more useful for me defensively. Uh, <laughs> so there, of course, if your player lands uh, and does not fail, he fails the landing. So instead of landing on his feet, he just like face plants in the ground. Uh, that's one of the few cases where one of your players gets. Uh, like stunned or hurt on the pitch, and your turn doesn't end. Just sort of a weird rule thing. Yeah, they they understand that TTM is fun enough that you should not be overly penalized for failing it. Yeah, it'd be pretty bullshit if you if you got. They know you, nobody would TTM thing. if you got a turnover for like dropping a TTM or whatever. Mm -hmm. I hope you're gonna do like some crazy chain push bullshit, or uh, is that a side stepper? The, uh, is that both check. side steppers? Uh, number nine that is a side have stepper. Diving tackle? Number nine is a side stepper with diving tackle, which means I'm not dodging away from him. No, you gotta go punch him. Yep. Number eight, however, is uh, is not. So what we can do here is, uh, well, presumably we can. Oh, you can hand off to number four. I could hand off, uh, but I really want Santos to score. So doesn't I can get matter. Him you should hand that much off closer. to number four. A sane person will hand off to McGruff here. Or to Blitzer. Uh, I'm not a sane person, though. So here's what we can do. 
we can. Oh wow, uh, that's yep. actually awesome. This is well, some I'm next level shit. So watch this. I'm pushing into number I told nine. You that that you were gonna do some like crazy chain push bullshit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I was hoping I'd get the knockdown. Uh, I'm I'm not, but that's okay. But by standing number three, uh, McGruff there, he it means that he can't sidestep onto my ball carrier still. So he's still in the way. Uh, but I freed up I freed up Santos Van Hammerstein to go. Are you go really gonna run. do two? Uh... Oh, oh God no. no. I I. I misread it. I thought it was turn sixteen. No, no, no. We got, we got all day. I was we got... about to say, were you like, were you? Do you believe that much in Santos Van Hammerstein that you're just going to do two GFIs in a blizzard? I do believe in Santos Van Hammerstein. I don't believe in two GFIs <laughs> in a blizzard. No. In a blizzard. God no. I believe in Beast Lab though. Mm-hmm. He is my boy. Is that uh, that how many casualties is that? He's he's. Uh, oh, let's go look at the cast box. That's yeah, four. Smackdown. Uh, Jesus Christ. Three caused by me. Two, I believe, caused by, uh, by Doctor White. Uh, yeah. So. Yes, Welby Cotton and whichever nameless, faceless midget got mm-hmm. punched the fuck out. The on, other one. Uh, yeah. The other irrelevant fellow. And so I'm stacking a bunch of guys up here on uh, Deep Fruit. Assuming that I can knock him down at some point, and just in case they manage to uh, somehow, by some random act of God, Santos Van Hammerstein manages to, I don't know, get knocked over by halflings. Uh, Doesn't happen. No. Uh, of course, double GFIing to mark this guy because I can. Uh, I don't care. If, I don't care if the zombie falls over. What is he to me? Pelvis Costello is a hero. Pelvis Costello is the best zombie, but he's still a zombie. Yeah, well, no, he's the best zombie. But he's still a zombie. He's Pelvis Costello. You don't care. He's too good. Too good. All zombies are worthless. And that's not racist. That's the truth. That's... (laughs) I don't even know how to respond to that. You respond by watching this. And that is is Tree Man. Tree Man Man finally putting in some work. Like, they have Mighty Blow. That's the only work they've done all game. They have Mighty Blow and they have Mighty Block, but they're still Treeman. And you know what we Mighty say about Treeman. They're all bad. Yeah, they're all bad. Well, they're pretty ungood. Mm-hmm. So number nine, okay, well. uh, due to Heather Toe, right there, is still Diving Tackle, and he's still in my way. And we need to go annihilate him. Uh, we need to go do that thing that we did again. Uh, it's harder this time, but... Oh, no, it's not terribly hard. See, remember that double GFI I did earlier? That was strategy. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, no, number nine is on the, he's on the wrong side, in fact. So, uh, oh. we can still do this, but again, I'm not too terribly rushed to get this done. Uh, because we have a, we have a full turn, and... Oh, that's true. It is turn 15. I have plenty of time to get players into position and not risk it, because I am out of rerolls, as is he. Yeah, we're, we're not, uh, we're not betting men this game. Again, like, I'm not going to lose this game. There's no way I lose, but I'd like to win even more and get more SPP. That helps. Yeah. So now we're Let's scoring. Punch we're scoring Sidestepper. Sidestep diving tackle. Oh, and the stun is even better. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not going to matter because I'm going to go score right Honestly, now. Honestly, I that would have made me not score. Nah, I'm just going to go score. Okay, well, uh, it's true. It is Santos when Hammerstein. Kind of because stalling it out is kind of a dick move. But mostly uh, because I want to see another TTM. I'm just way too safe, especially with a ghoul. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that I would have probably gotten, like, tripped up and fallen over there, and I would have had a dead ghoul. And, uh... Cheerleaders! Sad. Working to my Doesn't advantage matter. Again. No cheerleaders. As, as soon as I lose a reroll because of cheerleaders is the, is the minute I buy cheerleaders. Also, I'd like to note that that's the shittiest possible thing that can happen for a TTM. Yeah. Is uh, the ball landing there. Because you can't throw the ball and TTM in the same turn. Because the TTM counts as a pass. Correct. So he can now he now cannot uh, get the ball into that guy's hands. So he's going to try to blitz <laughs> and he's going to oh, take oh. over. That's just sad to see. That's just sad. Yeah, I, I love the moment where he moves number eight up. That was his TTMer. Mm-hmm. The, or that was the guy that he was gonna throw. He's like, "Well, there went my TTM. Might as well Fuck stand it. next to this guy." He was going for the 3DB. It didn't uh, work. With the tree. Yep. And uh, no, that was unsuccessful. The sad reality of playing as halflings is that 
most of the time you're not very good. Yeah. Let's do some vanity blocks with GFIs involved. That's always good. <sighs> oh, that's so... That's like the worst possible ending to that game. That's so delicious. And you still have a turn of punching his face. In. I have, I believe I have a mighty blow guy in range. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm locking on right now. Uh, of course, doing some taunting. Beef slab needs a vanity pass. Because I am uh, I am extremely I'm extremely poor manners in my victories, <laughs> and in my losses as well too. <laughs> to be fair, you did play against min maxed halflings. Look at me reroll safe blocks though, right into dub skulls. Wow! I immediately I deserve that. Whatever. I will be the first to admit <laughs> I deserve that, but I would do that again in a heartbeat. I will change nothing. I am the villain of this LP. <laughs> I noticed that Iratep was pretty quiet during that second half. Yeah, I, I think just the great. depression. Look at those fucking max oh, winnings, though. Like, we are, now, we are now rolling in money. This is the point at which we uh, replace our Oh, Flesh right? Gordon, yes! Yes! Yes, we have a ton of cash, a lot of decisions to make, because, fucking look at that, four levels. Holy <sighs> shit. All right. Holy shit, that's let's, awesome. Let's start checking shit out. Okay, Up first, Gordon. Normal's perfect. Nine. Eh, that's cool. We're gonna get block, probably. Hopefully. Or guard, I don't know. One of block would be great. It'd make him as good as Beast Lab already. It would. McGruff, Normal's, ah, that's normals fine. Normal's are also very good. We can get dodge. Yep. We can get tackle. We can get a number of things, but we should probably get dodge. There are a lot of things to be done. Dubs. Oh, doubles. Oh. This is where we give him <sighs> Mighty Blow, right? I know you guys wanted to get rid blow. of him. I know you guys wanted to get rid of him, but look at that. Look at it's that mighty over. Bro. You can't you can't fire doubles. Mighty blows. You just can't do it. All right, and then finally, Doctor White. Normals, perfectly acceptable. Great, mighty blow. Let's I'll take give it. him guard or piling on. All right, one of the go two. vote. We'll see you guys next time.